Guess who? Guess who? You miss me? You miss me? White people right now? Is that what you're doing? Huh? Get out. <laughs> Yo! Yo, I'm gonna bring this back a little bit really quick just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a backstory on where exactly it is that we're going today. I was going through the footage and I realized I didn't necessarily explain that. It was just like, bow, here we are. <laughs> so I'm talking with my brother. This was before we welded the diff on the BMW and he let me know that he had a buddy, um, a friend from that he met a while back that was all into these BMWs and actually builds them uh, into drift cars as well. So to my point, my brother gave me Tommy's phone number and Tom is who we're going to his house right now and his Instagram. I hit him up on Instagram. Uh, we we're talking back and forth. He's a really cool dude. Um, he shared a lot of knowledge with me and I you know, told him about a lot of my ideas and my plans and long story short, he's a really cool dude and he's invited us out to go and check out his car, to look at his build, you know, uh, for me to try to, you know, kind of get some inspiration as to where it is necessarily I'm wanting to take my car. You guys already know, bro, I'm from the Honda world and I don't have a lot of this kind of stuff around me. I've never had it around me, so to go out and see somebody that's been doing this for a while and has a lot of experience with it um, is, is really exciting for me, dude, and I want to bring you guys along. So I hope you enjoy the video, and let's get back to our little road trip. What? No, no, it's extra footage for me. <laughs> he just walks around, I go back and pick a little stuff out of whatever he recorded. No, I like, I like, your, uh, I like the way that you edit yeah, that's. I, I spent a lot of time on my editing, a lot of time, <laughs> dude. Some some videos I'm sitting there for five six hours just doing editing. This is your car. Tell us what it is. What it's all about. Um, this is a '94 E36 four door um, with the 2.5 liter inline six. So a little different from yours. Uh, probably the same transmission and all that. Um, as you can see, it is uh, completely torn down, and uh, I'm in the middle of rewiring and doing essentially what you would call probably a stage two or two and a half uh, weight reduction. Yeah, <laughs> no <laughs> kidding, dude. Yeah, the, this uh, thing is gutted. Yeah, no, it uh, it definitely is. It's very messy right now too, so it's definitely a work in progress. But uh, it's getting there. Wow. So you're basically just redoing all your wiring? Yeah, yeah. So this is the the. Uh, main electrical panel here um you know i got uh 10 relays right here these are low amp lower amp relays these are the main relays right here uh between uh the main efi relay and the uh, fuel pump relay i also i'm going to add a sound system to this so there's the the fuse for this, the amp and there's an rgb controller for uh the lights i have on the front of it which you guys will see uh, at some point so you're going to keep a stereo in it oh yeah of course, oh, yeah. gotta have jams. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got a, like a bo like a cheap Boss Audio amp and a Sony stereo with Bluetooth and everything. It's gonna it's gonna be booming when I'm sitting there in the line waiting. <laughs> nice. I love the headlights. Yeah, those yeah, are that's, sick. Um, a lot of people have commented they really like the headlight setup. It it wasn't like intentional. It was like okay, I have these uh, pod lights laying around. Yeah. I'm like okay. I'm I just saw it. Yeah, I seen them on your Instagram. I'm like, dude, those look badass. Yeah, I've gotten like way more com compliments on them than I was ever expecting. I'm like, they work. They're not falling apart, and I didn't have to spend a ton of money on them. It's literally like these are knee lights off of Amazon. They're pretty cheap. Yeah. And it's just some aluminum strap running in here, and you can see my RGB is hiding behind it, which puts like a back glow when the lights are off and it looks pretty badass. And a part of it, grassroots is uh, showing off a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, one of the future mods that I was going to help you out with is running the E46 lower control arms and being able to get a little bit more angle out of them, uh, out of the stock suspension. Um, one of the great mods to do that's pretty cheap is running uh, braided brake lines that help stiffen the brakes up quite a bit. I got that ran on all four corners. I mean, mine, mine's just a little $600 car. I mean, I've welded the diff on it so far, and I've literally, every night since I've done that, been out in a parking lot somewhere. That's, that's where you got to start. That's <laughs> you literally know? where you got to start on it. Um, you know, like I tell everybody that asks me questions about this thing, the biggest thing is get some good suspension underneath it. It makes a night and day difference. Don't focus yeah. on, you know, engine power or anything like that. I know that um, these case ports weren't cheap. These were about $1,500. Yeah. Um, K Sports local up here in Mesa. They're great people to deal with. Um, you know, they helped me out a lot there. I definitely a shout out to K Sport on on helping me out with that. And I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I didn't get any special deals from them. They're just a, a wonderful company to deal with. But I got something for you. They're not going to be anything near what the K Sports are capable of. Yeah. But. It's going to be better than the clapped out stock suspension that you have on there right yeah, now. Yeah, absolutely, man. So, I'm I'm really happy to be helping you out with your building on this, and and always, uh, you know, always happy to help out new drifters, and kind of get out there and, and. I appreciate it, dude. I really do. This is this is definitely uh one of the big items I need for the car. I mean, it'll be temporary, of course, till I get something nicer. Yeah, and when you're done with will, it, uh, as long as it's going. Not well, yeah, when you're done with it, and as long as it's not destroyed or anything like that, and you find somebody else that's starting out a E36 build, freaking yeah. pass it on. Yeah, absolutely. Help them out, you know, keep, keep the love going. <laughs> <laughs> just like a really really cool scene to be a part of uh, everybody's very friendly about it like everybody's there to still learn and everybody's able to help out with everything um, go fast entertainment they run an event pretty much every month of the year you know minus like two months out of the year mostly December and February um, and it's just an amazing scene to be with and you go out there you can find anybody out there uh multiple bmw guys if you own a 240 there's so many 240s out there you can just walk up and start talking to people about it and it's it's great to be part of that scene and it's really changed my life being in it um but uh, they also run a drift clinic so if you're wanting to get into these uh events uh you can go look up go fast entertainment on facebook and we pretty much run a drift clinic every month uh prior to the main event the same day and that pretty much gets like you know newer drivers out there that are just starting out together with some of the more experienced drivers and teaches them the basics about how to drift The plus side of being the guy with the camera in his hand is I don't have to help push. I just got to record. Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> that looks right. Yeah, that looks right. Oh, so you don't remember? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's been like a year and a half. <laughs> right, I'm sure it I looks can... right. Okay, I'm sure I can find a video or something. You can, you can learn hang how on, to hang do on, anything on Hang on, hang on, hang on. We got this. It's not the same as this one. Oh, really? This one? Never mind. Yeah, I'm no, sure. No, no, yeah, this is bottom. Out. This is bottom. Okay, so the adjuster goes on bottom. Yeah, the adjuster. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, dude. Yeah, I'll figure it out <laughs> one way or another. Yeah, I don't know, man. These aren't. Are these gonna really be as bouncy as you think they are? Um, probably not in no, comparison they to what bouncy, I have. Bouncy. They were soft. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the problem is, is they don't have like any. I need hands. Or anybody got hands? You're gonna be catching these hands, children. 
Of course, whenever it comes wow. to comes to work. Remember, I got a camera. I got a hold. I can't carry stuff. Right, I'll take over the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, is, so, is there a left and a right? I'll probably figure it out, huh? They'll probably only go on one way. Like it's been a while since I put these things on. <laughs> right. They're dirty. By the way, I did trim a little bit off of this. Okay. So if you want to put the uh, spindle blocks, those uh, milled out aluminum pieces, um, oh. to get some more angle, yeah. it's already clear. Nice. I need yeah. to grab those like eBay or, or Amazon, right? eBay. But do these go to it? Yeah. Is this for the rear? Yep. Some new rear shops for the rear. Here I'll go. Sweet. I got to carry one thing. I'll grab that piece. Okay. Up. You got the camera, dude. Yeah. I gotta carry something now. This motherfucker's already just sitting in the car. Watching Anger Management. Anger Management? Yeah, it's the movie. You know Anger Management, the movie? That's a funny movie. It is a funny movie, it but it, is right now really the time to watch Anger Management? Yeah, you're. What happened to helping? <laughs> Uh, brother, it was great meeting you. I appreciate you. I look forward to helping you more out and then uh, yeah. seeing you at that. You have to drive all the way out to my house this time. That's fine. <laughs> We're back home, dude! Yo, Tommy was a really cool guy, man. But hell yeah, dude. Shout out to Tommy for hooking it up with the suspension. You guys already know the car most certainly, most certainly needs this. So in the next video, dude, you guys know what we have to do, man. We have to get this stuff installed, bro. <laughs> Hold up. Y'all really thought I was fixing to do you that way, huh? Not installing today, man. This stuff is going on the car right now. Well, I'm starting up here on the front driver's side one. Now, Tommy did mention to me that he did not have the bolts for the top hat to actually bolt it to the chassis, you know? So, and he wasn't sure as to whether or not the stock ones are the same thread, the same size. So, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that these bolts are gonna work. Cause if not, I'm screwed right now. I gotta go to the store. <laughs> That'd be my luck. Oh shit, damn bro, need to go to the casino tonight. Gonna reach in here and turn the ignition on, but I'm gonna disconnect the battery so you don't drain it. Now I should be able to turn this nice. Perfection. Now this was extremely simple to take out. These little guys right here, well I should be showing you the factory one. These right here are holding some brake lines and or this is a brake line, I don't know what the hell those were. But those just popped out. Uh, as for down here, all three of these points right here is what mounts to your steering knuckle. And this is the hardware that you'll be pulling off. These two bolts are for these two holes here on this bottom bracket. This nut and bolt, with the washer, goes on each end. This is what sandwiches the knuckle in between this bracket here. And I keep dropping shit. Everything here is 18 millimeter. These two, I just used the 18 millimeter ratchet. 
Uh, this one you have to get an 18 millimeter on both sides or else it'll just spin on you. Up here on the top, a really simple one. This was just three bolts that hold it to the top of the body. They're actually nuts rather. Here's two of them. I don't know where the third is. But those are 13 millimeter. All right, well there's one of them finished. Everything's all tightened down and, and, where'd it go? There it is. I use this stuff on everything except for the camber, the camber plate bolts. These ones right here for adjusting because I might end up toying with it. Once we get the car finished and set it back down, if this thing has too much like camber, I don't know. I, I have to mess with the settings, so I didn't want to put any of this on there. But now we're going to jump to the back and see what's going on back here, dude, because this is a weird setup. Looks like it's probably going to be a lot easier than the front, though. Now, I haven't looked up online or anything yet on how exactly to pull this out, but if you see, it has a separate shock and a separate spring. Um, I'm hoping that if we just go ahead and undo this shock, at the top and then we'll be able to take the bottom nut off that this control arm might actually be able to travel downwards without the shock hooked up enough that the spring will just pull out boy if it is really that easy bro if it's really that easy man this will literally be the easiest set of coilovers i have personally ever done i would imagine these are a also a 13, and they are. <laughs> the shock is literally just coming down by itself. Like, the control arm hasn't traveled at all. This did not drop, it stayed where it's at. And the shock is just slowly getting lower and lower. Look at that. Completely blown, dude. It has absolutely zero recoil. That's what's up. We got the stock spring out, but if you see the stock spring has this little rubber piece on the bottom and it has this one on the top. Now, if you look inside of here, this rubber piece on the top actually slid over this little nub that's in there and it sat between the body, the body and the stock spring. Um, now, these springs here, it has the little adjuster that goes on the top in which I'm imagining, you know, this obviously sits inside the spring and this sits up here like so, but that puts this straight metal to metal. And I don't know, I'm afraid that it's either gonna make noise or I don't know, something. I feel like it'd be better if this rubber was between it, but this won't fit in there. So what I'm gonna do is actually cut this little nipple off of here so that this rubber piece will slide up and then we can sandwich that rubber between this and I don't know. For some reason, I just, I feel like that's going to be better than not having this up there. Before. After. See, we're just cutting this piece off. So now we can actually put that up against there and it'll slide into that little nipple or nub or whatever that's actually on the body of the car and all this will just be held all as one piece and we'll have rubber between the body and the adjuster so we don't have to hopefully deal with any kind of noises or vibrating or something. Okay. Maybe? Pull this out. All right, I think that's what we're looking for, dude. I think, I don't know, 
ends up giving me problems, I'll figure it out. Now there's our rear spring and our new rear shock all installed and which that shock is not blown and this one most certainly is dude you see it's it's completely compressed in and it's not even trying to recoil back out. So with that being said what I'm going to do is go ahead and do the other side off camera because you guys just seen this side. I'm going to speed through the other side get it finished so we can get the wheels back on it and see how low this thing is bro and how much more stiff it is you know what I mean the stiffer the better that's what she said that's what she always said all right I'm gonna stop trying to make a joke out of that fuck it showed up out of nowhere bro <laughs> I'm not really a fan of doing donuts in the rain dude it's it's not as exciting it's not as violent and we didn't get to put the suspension really to any real test because since the ground is all wet the tires just flat out don't get any grip I installed them last night I can tell you guys that it definitely made a huge freaking difference because I did go out last night but I didn't record it because I was waiting till today so I can get some actual daytime footage for you guys, you know what I mean? And that kind of bit me in the ass because it started freaking raining and I had, I had no idea it was going to rain. Or else I would have tried to record something last night. I'll tell you that I am almost ready for a new set of tires already. <laughs> Peace out guys and never forget bro.